Hi, this is Stuff with Kirby. Today I'm going to be showing you a project I made using the Amazon Dash wand and an old intercom that I found at a garage sale. I took these both apart. I put the insides from this into here so I can use Alexa to control my home automation such as turning my TV on, changing the thermostat, my lights. So this is the finished one that I'm going to show you. So when we press the talk button, the blue light will come on and then we can ask Alexa a command or do something. So let's try it. What time is it? It's 7.48 p.m. I think you could hear that. It's a little noisy in my shop and the one downside with this project is the the little speaker is not very loud, but typically for my uses I don't need the speaker because I'm just saying things such as turn the TV on, change the thermostat to 65, or turn the porch lights on. So here's the intercom. There was two screws on the back holding it together that I removed, and then two screws inside that were holding it together. I cut the wire to the speaker since I wasn't going to be using that one. Here's the inside of the board. I used a flush trim cutter and removed all those components you see. So I had a nice flat panel to mount the wand components to. Here's the inside of the completed one. You see the speaker's gone now and I have a nice flat area there where everything's mounted. So to get the wand apart, you pull the black cover off, which is where you would find the batteries normally then. And then it was just welded together along the seam. So I used my clam knife to, to break the seal. And at the front, there's um, a lens for the barcode scanner. So it sticks a little there, pulling it apart. Don't worry about breaking the ribbon cable. We don't really reuse the barcode scanner. I already have it disconnected from the board along with the speaker. The speaker that we want was located under this barcode scanner. So there's two screws to remove and then you get to the speaker which stuck to my barcode scanner. The speaker is magnetic so we'll use that later to stick to a piece of metal inside the intercom. And I already undid the screws here and I took off the, the metal contacts for the battery. And then I take out the circuit board. Be careful there's two little caps at the end of those springs there that like to get lost easily. So here's that button. There's a pad on each end where you can solder to. Here's a wire soldered to that pad. When the talk button is pressed in, it'll either open or close these two pads right here on the circuit board and that's where we'll solder the other one part of the wires to. Next I'll show you it working with my TV. Turn TV off. Okay. Turn TV on. So that's how I made this project using this intercom that I found at an estate sale and this Amazon Dash wand. I also have a guide up on Instructables and I'll post the link down below so you can go check that out if you have problems following along with the video or I didn't cover something. Thanks for watching.
and leave a comment or if you have any ideas on how I could improve this project, that'd be greatly appreciated also. So thanks for watching.